This is a Blender 2.68 tutorial on how to create a logo. We'll delete the cube first. We'll hit N to bring up the menu. We want to add a background image. Add image. And I've stored mine on the desktop. And it's the Carson logo. We need to be in orthographic view and top view. So that's five and then seven. We'll just zoom in a bit. We need to create a plane. We need to be in edit mode, so that's tab. Deselect all the points. Select just one vertex and delete it. We'll press G to move this point. We'll start off here. And there. And the closer we make these points, the smoother our logo will be. To create all the remaining points, we press E. And when the point is in position, we press spacebar to accept that position. It's important to be in orthographic view. That makes all the points on the same plane. So the plane is Z is equal to zero. If you don't put it on plane, if it's not on Z is equal to zero, your logo will be bumpy. Now we're, I'm just going to skip forward through time here and uh, get to the completed logo. This won't take you very long though. Now that we've gotten near the end, we need to make one polygon and we need to join the first and last vertex. So we hit shift and press the F key. Okay, the next step is we want this to be a polygon. These are just edges. So we press A, A, and now we've selected all the vertices. Now we can press Control F to fill. And we have our completed logo. This is still only 2D. And uh, we can turn off our logo now by selecting, deselecting background image. So this is a 2D logo. We want to make it a 3D logo. Let's press the front view. That's one on the numeric pad. And we want to extrude. And if it's not locked in the Z direction, press Z. And Make the logo as thick as you like. And press the space bar. Now we have a 3D logo. If you want to make this logo a little more fancier, you want to extrude to give it a beveled edge. 
Don't extrude by too much. The space bar. Go back to top view and deselect everything. Select the outer vertices. and scale. You want to be careful about not selecting these points because they're a little bit trickier to uh, adjust. Hit escape, scale, and that gives it a little beveled look. Deselect all the vertices again. Press C to get your circular selection tool. And this time we want to scale bigger. And finally, you'll probably want to move these last points manually. And just move them in a little bit. And the the lines will tell you which vertex to grab next. And just move them in a tiny bit. If we look at it, it looks fairly nice. Okay, and I'll leave the last corner for you to do. Don't forget to save your file, and this concludes this logo lesson.